Hello, welcome back to Mr. J's channel. So today I'll be visiting the Maritime Museum in Hong Kong and also we'll be trying out another fast food chain. Um, it's one of the most popular uh, where the local eats. So we'll be doing that and uh, it's a quite nice weather in Hong Kong even though we're in the December. Um, in Vancouver right now and New York it's snowing and you know traffic jam everywhere and um, yeah so we'll be doing that and uh, I'll be filming other stuff as well so be sure to watch until the end of the video lots of 7-eleven in Hong Kong so I'll be taking the ferry to Central that's where the Maritime Museum is So first time I see one of these machines, you get an orange juice freshly squeezed for $25 Hong Kong dollars. That's about uh, four bucks, four bucks Canadian. It's very simple, you tap your octopus card and you get fresh juice right away. Monday to Friday, $2.60. And on the Sunday, Saturday, uh, public holidays, the holiday is 360. So seniors are free. They're a pretty good deal, I would say. And uh, you would purchase a token here if you don't have an octopus card. So one of the things you should do if you're in Hong Kong, you should take the ferry. This ferry is actually, I would treat it as an antique and it's still operating because um, all the new ferries is simply very different, the mechanicals and all the systems are different. Um, I saw one of these ferries uh, in actually in, uh, in a museum in Hong Kong as well, um, but these ones are a classic. So if you ever come to Hong Kong, you should really take the ferry and to experience what um, or how uh, Hong Kong um, people uh, take the transit every day uh, from the Kowloon to the Hong Kong Island. So these two structures here, um, oh actually three structures, the first one is the Ritz-Carlton of uh, Kowloon and that is the, uh, actually right here, uh, the newly built um, Museum of Hong Kong and also right here that's the uh, M Plus Museum which I also will be visiting in this trip.
the Maritime Museum that I'll be going today. the ferry to the dock with these uh, ropes. That's the old-fashioned way to do this. at the central pier. So that was roughly about eight minutes trip from Kowloon to uh, central. And it's the cheapest transportation available right now. And the fastest. So right now I have uh, arrived at the pier. Um, they have a lot of ferries that would take you to the remote islands of Hong Kong. And this one is the express one right here, called First Ferry. And um, it's about 30, uh, actually 25 minutes to uh, the remote islands. One of the most famous remote islands is called Changjiao. And look at how tall these skyscrapers are. That's pretty damn tall. Okay, so right now I'll be going to the Maritime Museum. They gave me a ticket last time um, because an extra, extra complimentary ticket because last time I was here in the summer, um, they are doing renovations to one of the levels. I, I'm hoping that this time, this visit, They'll be done with the renovations um, as the ticket will actually expire end of this month. Right, today is the December the 3rd in Hong Kong. So let's check it out. It's a Hong Kong Maritime Museum. People fishing here uh, by the pier. It's my lucky day. The museum now reopened to A and B decks. Leave Home Safe app. And a lot of 
people today. So the exhibition on this floor is pretty much the same as uh, last time, uh, which I visited in the summer. So let's check out the rest of the museum, uh, the ones that were uh, under renovations and the renovations have been fully completed. Check out the B deck, which was uh, under renovations last time. You can see all this uh, alleyway is all new. So this is the B deck. This is actually uh, quite new to me. I haven't been here before. If you're a ship fan, you should definitely check this out. Look at how many uh, models are being, being displayed. Go to A deck.
So it says here, um, barely less than a generation ago, the only way to trans travel between Kowloon and Hong Kong was by ferry, which was the ferry that I took earlier. Surprisingly, it's still barely cheap. It's the cheapest transportation available right now from Kowloon to Hong Kong. So that wraps up my tour of the Maritime Museum. Feeling a little bit hungry right now, so why don't we go grab a bite? Okay, so they have Subway in Hong Kong, but I didn't come all the way from North America to Asia to eat Subway. Okay, so I just came by this, um, I think it's like a weekend market. And I saw these guys, uh, it's the Hong Kong Federation of Handicapped Youth and these are all handmade, so I'm picking out two. So Mr. J got two uh, gifts for my friends uh, at the stand right here. Uh, one is, I think, uh, this one's called uh, Good good Health and um, I mean just good luck, right? So this one here, the other one is Prosperity, means money, which Mr. J loves. So let's go grab a bite. That's the iconic Ferris wheel, AIA Ferris wheel. You can see a lot of uh, construction going on in Hong Kong. The city keeps on improving. Pretty busy Saturday afternoon. Oh, there's traffic jam right there. The traffic jam in Hong Kong is easily resolved. It's not like Vancouver, where like people, if it snows, then all of a sudden everybody doesn't know how to drive. The weekends, Saturday and Sunday, um, all the domestic workers, uh, they, they have uh, breaks, so they um, actually post these temporary illegal uh, stands to sell all sorts of stuff. You see illegal handbags and all that stuff. Um, but you know, Hong Kong is pretty flexible with these things. Like the Hong Kong police, they would turn a blind eye on that. So that's where the majority of the people make uh, extra income. Uh, on the streets of Hong Kong. So pretty good deals. Yeah, pretty good deals. Yeah. Jollibee uh, here in Hong Kong as well. Look at the lineup, it's huge. We make a video on that another time. Because in Vancouver, if you want to have some Jollibee, you have to line up, and the lineup is huge. It's like an hour or so long. The classic tram, a Hong Kong classic. It's pretty cheap to to ride on it. It takes you pretty much anywhere in the Hong Kong island. So that's that way is the famous uh, Lang Kui Fong. And I'm gonna be heading over to Fairwood. That's one of the famous uh, fast food franchises in Hong Kong. Okay, right there, Fairwood. So they have lots of McDonald's in Hong Kong, so I'll be doing another video on that later on. Just wanna, in these two episodes, I wanna focus on the Fairwood and Cafe de Coral. 
which I, uh, I have already uploaded. Found the fairwood in Central. Uh, there's actually plenty of fairwood in, uh, in the city, and this is one of them. And that's uh, it's Hong Kong Jockey Club. You can actually buy lottery tickets there. Uh, besides uh, betting on horses, so I'm super famished. So let's see what is there to eat. So I love the Hong Kong culture, it's uh, pretty cool, it's pretty fast, everything is like super fast and uh, yeah, so sim it's very similar to uh, Café de Coral. Let's see what is there to eat. Sorry. Yeah. I found what I'm looking for. I'll be getting this one here. Q7. Uh, it's the crispy roasted pork belly, sausages, soy sauce, chicken wing, and also salted duck egg with rice. For fifty-one dollar Hong Kong dollars. So you can actually just order here. It's pretty cool. So fifty-one dollars. I was supposed to give this cute, give this ticket to those guys. Guy, Apple. Yeah. So this one does, doesn't have a number on the voucher because uh, it's a different section. It's the barbecue pork and barbecue pork section. So you get a ticket and they'll make it right away for you. Ready in about a minute. So fast. Okay, I've seen it in one of these uh, bars here. It's actually pretty busy on a Saturday. It's like a canteen style similar to the Café de Coral. So I opted for the, uh, it's the uh, one, two, three, four, the four treasures. So this is the salted egg. And that's the uh, crispy pork belly. That's the Chinese sausages. And this is the uh, a Swiss, or it means like soy sauce, uh, Swiss soy sauce chicken wings. And they give you um, some water on the side and some mustard and um, scallion ginger uh, oil, which is for the chicken. But I would love that as a uh, condiment to uh, to accompany the the rice. So let's eat. So can you actually see this? The pork belly is. You can see the layering, right? The fat right here, this crispy skin, and the meat, pretty evenly distributed. And you get a half and salted egg with your uh, rice. So these are the Chinese sausages. You have uh, four slices of that and some veggies and the uh, soy sauce marinated chicken wings, right? So you get two, uh, two of that and plenty of rice. So first bite. So this is the crispy pork belly, right? So the skin is actually pretty crispy and it's very evenly distributed, the fat and the meat. So I would say this is one of the top um, barbecue pork places in Hong Kong. You just don't, you don't need to like listen to the other people and say um, you have to find this um, local favorite uh, barbecue shop. You can just go, one, go to one of the big franchises and you'll be able to enjoy some of uh, Hong Kong's very famous barbecue, right? Okay, so that's it for today's adventure and I hope you enjoyed my video. 
So stay tuned for more videos、um, as I'll be going、uh, around Hong Kong and to show you guys around what Hong Kong has to offer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.